sites and this pipeline also should be insulated while working everywhere there should be insulation up to the steam engine this is comparatively small boiler uh, with matching capacity for 10 horsepower but for 20 horsepower boiler will be little bigger having a heating surface of 150 uh, square feet heating surface of the tubes in this boiler it is 80 square feet heating surface and still more bigger boiler for 50 hp the heating surface will be 330 uh, uh, 330 square feet heating surface of the tubes and uh, header pipes etc whatever water is delivered by this pump entirely it goes to the boiler it should not go entirely to the boiler only uh, required quantity of water must go so here there should be t connection and it should t connection and it should go back the water into the tank which has not been shown here so please correct this one it should be t connection here there should be wall here and again here on the after t also there is there should be wall so we can regulate the water going to the boiler in a less quantity or more quantity so in a diagram it will be shown properly but here connections by haste they have made and they have forgotten to uh, show or connect the uh, return pipe going to the water tank extra water which is not required into the boiler should go back to the water tank water tank should be constructed little away either of cement concrete or fabricated steel and it should be of matching capacity or higher capacity at least so this steam engine of 10 hp consumes 160 liter of water per hour accordingly 20 horsepower steam engine consumes 320 liter and 50 hp engine consumes 800 liter per hour This is double cylinder reciprocating water pump supplying the water with positive displacement. But for bigger steam engines, three cylinder pumps are supplied. This is reciprocating lubricating oil pump lever. This is lubricating oil reserve oil, oil box. This one is this is just a air pipe because when piston goes down then in the sump oil will be compressed which will come out and when piston goes up then there will be vacuum so oil will go inside from this pipe just to uh, maintain the atmospheric pressure inside the sump this is the wall uh, to enter the steam inside the steam engine and this is steam inlet And here is the exhaust steam from this, uh, exo ex uh, steam will be exhausted from here and will go, go out. Use the this is the uh, feed water pump supplying the water to the boiler with pressure, double cylinder. Here is the water outlet, upper is water outlet and below connection is the water inlet already arrow has been shown this is water separator which has been already explained function is to separate the water particles uh, remaining in the steam. Entry is tangential and outlet is from the center. This is gauge glass connection. Uh, with a single coke it is upper one and with double coke it is lower one. Gauge glass lower.
steam outlet pipe of one inch diameter which comes out the superheater and goes to the steam engine. This is a pressure gauge connection and pressure gauge is already mounted and already explained and back side is a safety valve back side is a safety valve and this is just the extra connection to be plugged this is the foundation frame common for steam engine and alternator both on this foundation frame steam and steam engine is to be assembled by the customer so this rails has been given with marking a then b here and on the back side c and d the c and d on the frame and same marking are on steam engine also on steam engine here a is written a and a must should match then b here is written b and this is b on the frame similarly on the engine there is a c here and on the frame c is here similarly d and d and for the pump e on the foundation frame and e on this strip and f also foundation frame and on the strip itself so after matching this one it, everything will be properly connected